myself assistant professor nikhil bosle from computer science aml department from kit college of engineering kolapur today we are looking up with the course of computer organization and digital logic and we'll be covering up unit 1 8085 and we'll be understanding about the timing diagram of 8085 so here we'll be looking up with the timing signals of 8085 timing signals of 8085 and then we'll be understanding the timing diagram of some of the instructions now here the basic understanding we have to do is how many number of t states that is a clock signal states are required for the opcode fetching for the memory read and write operation okay so what do you mean by opcode fetch opcode fetch is particularly to get the instruction from the memory to the instruction register right we have seen about the instruction fetching process of microprocessor that was the opcode fetching process so any instruction has four t states for the opcode fetch next is for the memory read and write operation we need three t states signal that is the next important point the clock signal is the representation of the clock signals are like this okay then we have the idea about the address lines which are represented from a0 to a7 okay and then data lines represented from d0 to d7 we have the idea that both of these are combined together to become ad0 to ad7 right now and then we have other lines as a8 to a15 which are higher order address line now if we want to use the address operation or to see whether the ad0 to ad7 should be used as either address lines or data lines that is this lines okay then that is understood by one pin named as ale which is named as address latch enable as the name suggest address latch enable means when the value of ale is 1 that means ad0 to ad7 will be working as a0 to a7 and when the value of ale is 0 then ad0 to ad7 will be working as d0 to d7 so here io slash m bar okay we know this line when its value is 0 then memory related operation is performed and when it is 1 the input output related operations are performed we also have seen then when the value of read bar is 0 then the microprocessor is going to read the content from the micro uh, from the memory to to itself or to the microprocessor or and when we know when the value of write bar is zero that means the content from the microprocessor is going to be written into the memory we have another two signals named as s1 and s0 these two pins here when both the values are 1 and 1 that means opcode fetching is done when the value is 10 that means read operation is performed and the value is 01 that means write operation is performed okay so we looking with one of the example of uh, we'll be considering the move instruction we'll be understanding the operation performed in the move and then we'll be looking up with the various other instruction for the timing diagram so in the move when we use the operation of move mov we are either having the register or memory location value we are not having any 8 bit of value to be read so this instruction require only opcode fetching 
right okay so here through the diagram we have seen it is represented by the lower uh, state this is represented as t1 this is t2 this is t3 and this is t4 these are the t states which are represented so here we have used the operation as move b comma c where the content from the c register is passed to the b register program counter value has been taken as 1000 h right in the 1000 h location i am having the instruction needs only opcode fetch for the execution of the value right we have the idea so first this line of the program counter will be passed through the ad address line a0 to a15 right because we need the opcode fetching process in which the program counter uh, represents the address from which the instruction is to be fetched right so ad0 to ad7 will be working as a0 to a7 right okay and during that operation the value of ale should be high this is high and this is low here the top value will be 10 and the bottom value will be 00 where the whole address value will be 1000 h when this address is performed the work of the address line is over that is when ale becomes 0 that means ad0 to ad7 will be working as d0 to d7 right we want to read the content from the memory to the microprocessor so read bar becomes zero uh, low right and then the opcode is read into d0 to d7 now during this operation io slash m bar is zero because it is going on with the memory related operation right then as it is the fetching process the value of s1 and s0 becomes 1 and 1 so this is about the timing diagram of move instruction now we we'll look up with the next instruction named as mbi so here in the example we have taken mbi a comma 32h now in the mbi first the opcode of mbi represent four t states which is represented as t1 to t4 right then we have noticed that the data reading operation has three bits or the memory read operation has three t states we had seen in the first slide when the opcode fetching is done four t states are required when the memory read or memory write operation are performed three t states are required okay so the clock signal is represented uh, t1 uh, from low to high like this then t2 low to high t3 low to high t4 low to high okay hmm. now first what we need we need the opcode fetching process right program counter has been declared again as 1000 hu that means 1000 h will be passed from the address lines a0 to a15 okay now we are using the address line so ad0 to ad7 becomes a0 to a7 to make ad0 to ad7 as a0 to a7 which line should be enabled address latch enable right address latch enable should be high at that time ad0 to ad7 will be working as a0 to a7 the value of program counter is 1000 so 10 will be stored in a15 a to a15 and 00 will be uh, stored in a0 to a7 when the work of address is over or when we get the address of the memory the ale becomes low okay then ad0 to ad7 will be working as d0 to d7 the read bar operation is performed where we want to read the content from the memory to the microprocessor what is read opcode is read 
operation is performed here up to here in the t4 unspecified state is there because uh, the uh, the work operation of uh, address and data is over so fourth state is unspecified okay the next part again we want the next address location that is 1001 to make the program counter uh, we have seen that uh, during the instruction register and instruction decoding process program counter gets incremented by 1 right so 1001 will be the program counter value and that will be passed through the address line a0 to a15 a0 to a7 line become a0 to a7 okay and address latch enable should be high so here address latch enable has become high the value become 1001 h the work of address is over so address latch enable becomes low that means ad0 to ad7 will be working as d0 to d7 right and when the read operation is performed that means the 32 value from the location of uh, 1001H will be copied into D0 to D7. So basically through practice, we will again clearly understand about this instruction. It is one of the most easiest part. Just the diagram is uh, look um, bit complicated. But once we go on with the uh, diagrams, uh, drawing of the diagrams, individually then uh, we will cl uh, clearly get the idea about uh, the timing diagrams okay so here in the first part of io slash m bar s1 and s0 uh, io slash m bar should be zero because because it is memory related operation the value of s1 and s0 is one and one because it is opcode fetching operation here again io slash m bar is zero the value of S1 and S0 should be 1 and 0 because we are doing memory read operation. So this is about the MVI instruction. The next instruction is LDA. Now in the LDA, first 40 states is used for the fetching process. That is LDA instruction is fetched. The next three states is used as a data lines of a higher order address which is copied and then the data lines of the lower order address copied okay so here 40 states are used for the LDA first 40 states are used same as the process first uh, the value is uh, 1000 and then we have read the opcode when read operation is become low in the next one, we have got the instruction as 1001. If the LDA instruction is as consider it as 5000 H, right? LDA hmm? 500 zero zero value will be copied into the data lines, then by 50 value will be read, read as the another data line so we required another three state for 50 uh, for 50 value and another three state for uh, 0 0 value so the total number of three states required are 4 plus 3 plus 3 which is equivalent to 10 and then uh, to load the content from that address we need another three states so first the 50 value and uh, 0, 0 value as uh, seen through the example is copied to get uh, from the data lines. Okay. That data line value is passed as the address in the program counter and then from that program counter the read operation is performed and the content from that memory location pointer is read. So this is about the operation of the LDA. Similarly, in the STA, we are having four T states as the opcode of STA. Then we need three state, three T states to lower order address value to be read 
from the memory to the microprocessor and then three t, t states for the higher order address after getting the lower order address and higher order address that value will be passed to, uh, as the address lines okay uh, of the 16 bit address line right and from that the content is to be written right so write bar becomes zero at that instinct and then the content will be from that memory from the microprocessor is written into the memory okay so here we can see four t states are represented thousand value is approached right ALE is high, so AD0 to AD7 becomes A0 to A7. When it becomes low, AD0 to AD7 becomes D0 to D7, right? We have read the opcode of the instruction. After getting the opcode of the instruction, the next program counter value becomes 1001, right? The data that is read is 00, zero. okay? So here, we are taking the example as 8000H, right? So, 00, 0 is the lower order value and that is red. Again, after this operation, ALE becomes high, the next program counter value becomes 1002H and 80 value is red. That is, this 80 value is red here. After performing the 8000H this value is red and this value is red right this 80 value will be represented as the higher order address line and 00 value will be represented as the lower order address line because from that address location we will be passing the content of the microprocessor to the memory because we are storing the content of the microprocessor to that address right so the address is specified and then the content from the accumulator okay will be passed into the memory location here initially the value of s1 and s0 should be 1 and 1 because we are doing the opcode fetching here the value of s1 and s0 should be 1 0 because we are reading the lower order address then the value of S0, S1 and S0 should be again 1, 0 because again we are reading the value. In the STA, we are doing the writing operation. The value of S1 and S0 should be 0, 1. Now, this diagram seems to be complicated, but once you practice with the diagram, and understand again the flow of how the content is passed from the microprocessor to the memory. Uh, these operations are easy to understand. So, in as the homework, we can uh, go on with the instruction as Alexi add Alexi add ADI an above instruction. We go on with the LXI for example. LXI for example 5, 4, 3, 6H. We require 3 T states to get the opcode fetch. 54 value, oh, 4 T states sorry. Then the lower order value require 3 T states and the higher order value require T, 3 T states. Okay. So, the total number of timing diagram lines required is 10. If you go on with add, as add is having just the register or memory, as we have seen uh, of uh, move instruction, here it only requires 4 T states. If we represent ADI, which is only of 8 bit value, we require 4 T states of uh, opcode, right, and 3 T states to get the uh, 3 bit, uh, sorry, 8 bit immediate value, right. So, this is about uh, the instruction timing diagram 8085. To understand or to do the uh, timing diagram of the instruction LHLD and SHLD, 
bit uh, thorough knowledge again thorough understanding of the flow of the microprocessor and memory is required so at instinct you can go on with the lxi add adi instruction uh, go on with the timing diagram of it and then uh, we look up through the lhld and shld instructions so this is the end of lesson unit 1 thank you very much